The BIMRX Advanced Parameter Manager allows me to manage all of the shared parameters within my project. Within the BIMRX Advanced Parameter Manager, I have two tabs, one for managing the shared parameters and one for sync DB properties. We will review the sync D properties later. First, we will go over the Manage Shared Parameters tab. Here, I can start by loading in a shared parameter file. It will automatically show the shared parameter file that is currently loaded into my project, but I can browse to modify that shared parameter at any time. I can see all of the active groups within my current shared parameter file. I can rename those groups at any time. I can create new groups or delete existing groups as well. I can then begin to filter the shared parameters to view based off of these properties. Here I can view all shared parameters. I can view all project parameters. I can view all of the shared parameters in my Revit project. I can view all of the parameters in my shared parameter file and I can also view all the parameters in my linked Revit project. I can view all the existing parameters and also show the new parameter. I can filter with an AND when selecting multiple filters or with an OR. Let's say, for example, I've received a shared parameter file and I need to create all of those parameters within my current project. Here I can view all of the parameters within that shared parameter file. I can even see, according to the filters, what is in my current project and what is not. I can then select all of the shared parameters that I want to create in my current project. I can batch specify the categories. and I can view all of the information associated to them and make other modifications as needed. Then I can select to create those shared parameters and choose if I want to create it only in my current project, also in those families that are loaded into my current project or in the shared parameter file. So here I want to create it only in my current project. Once I do that, the filters will update to notify me that those parameters were created in my current project as project parameters. Another example would be to create shared parameters from a linked Revit project. Here I would like to view all of the shared parameters in my linked project. I can see which shared parameters are in my current project and also in my linked Revit project. Now I can choose multiple shared parameters that are in my linked file and choose to create them in my current project. And just like that, those were created inside of my current project. I can also come and use the Advanced Parameter Manager to create new parameters that aren't found anywhere in these locations. Here I can select to create a new shared parameter. Specify the name specify categories and select to create it. And I can choose to create it in my current project, in the shared parameter file, and in my families. And just like that, that shared parameter has been added. I can now use my filtering to filter for that new shared parameter. And as you can see, it was created in that shared parameter as a project parameter in my current project and in my shared parameter file, but is not in my linked Revit project. I can switch between the create mode and the power manage mode, which would allow me to delete any shared parameter. If I switch over to my power manage mode, this gives me the ability to now delete shared parameters. Here I can choose to delete that shared parameter. It'll give me a warning. I can select OK to delete it from my project parameters, from 
project and loaded families and then from that shared parameter file. I can check OK and all of those will be deleted. I can also choose to reload from the current Revit database to make sure that everything is up to date. I can also use my duplicate diagnosis to check if there are any shared parameters that have duplicate names. Once I select this, it will prompt me and let me know which names are duplicated and how many parameters have that same name. I can then come in and start to identify those shared parameters and choose to delete them as needed. This allows me to easily keep the shared parameters in my project organized. Now that we reviewed the Manage Shared Parameters tab, let's review the Sync DB Properties tab. What the Sync DB Properties tab allows me to do is extract parametric information that we know is accessible through the Revit API, but isn't currently accessible in typical parameters within our Revit project. Here I can find and search for different parameters. Let's say I want to create a parameter to show the Revit element IDs. The first thing I want to do is select that parameter. I can then create that parameter. And what Advanced Parameter Manager does is it creates it as a shared parameter inside of my current project. I can then choose to select one or many of those shared parameters and choose to sync them. Once I sync them, it'll extract that information from the element and place it as parametric data. I can then come and select those elements and we can now see the information there within that shared parameter. I can then use it for tagging or for scheduling.